In your spotlight today, performer Marilyn Manson turning himself in to Los Angeles police on charges related to simple assault. Those charges stemming from a 2019 incident in New Hampshire. The 52 year old artist accused of assaulting a videographer who was hired to film his concert. After about an hour and a half, Manson was released on personal recognizance on the condition that he not commit a federal, state, or local crime. While on release, he must also appear in court for proceedings as ordered and have no contact with the alleged victim. Manson faces two counts of misdemeanor simple assault. And today marks the debut of a new fan convention convention. And this one is taking place online and focused on the world of The Witcher. And CNN's Rick Damagella tells us this convention will be perfect for fans of the books, the video games and the Netflix original series. Will you be joining me? Fans of the many adaptations of The Witcher can celebrate Geralt of Rivia during the first Witcher Con. They say he was a man obsessed. The Witcher didn't begin life as a video game or a Netflix series. It's a really cool story because The Witcher is based on a series of novels written by Andrzej Sapkowski. And what happened is CD Projekt Red, a Polish based game studio, bought the rights to these novels to convert them into video games. There's been three fantastic Witcher games. The third one uh, is an absolute masterpiece, The Witcher 3. It has been ported to numerous platforms, and we're still waiting on a PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X revitalization of The Witcher 3. We don't want your kind here, Witcher. The Alderman. Tell me where he is, and I'll be on my way. Meanwhile, what's happened is that the video games really put a big spotlight on this intellectual property, and then Netflix converted the stories into a television series starring Henry Cavill. And the second season has been in production all through this sort of COVID nightmare. Toss a coin to your Witcher. WitcherCon is slated to feature a conversation with series star Henry Cavill among its online events. Tossing a coin to my Witcher in Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. Killing Rick. The two different Witcher Con events will live stream today on Twitch and YouTube. So set your alarms because it starts at 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. today. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> All right, we're headed over to SA Live on this rainy Friday. You guys are going to cheer us up. All right, Stephanie. Oh, I am cheering up with the word free. How about that? Right? Oh. oh, my gosh. Guess how much free stuff you want to stay tuned for. A local store's anniversary means. Free gifts for you. We're going to tell you how you can win free furniture and what prizes they're offering at a big event tomorrow. Wow. Okay, we're going to tell you how you can win Spurs tickets, Six Flags tickets, and Celebrity Fan Fest tickets. We are going to hook you up. Oh, yes. And anytime is a good time for burgers and hot dogs for the summer. And maybe you need a little something extra. Well, Freddie Morales, owner of The Shack, is here to show us some of their over-the-top burgers and dogs. Yes. And the thing about you is that you have really gotten those San Antonio flavors, right? Yes, Stick all the, the San Antonio favorites. Like what? Ooh. Hot Cheetos and cheese, mm -hmm. corn in a cup. We got funnel cakes, fruit cups, uh, churros, mm -hmm. just a little bit of everything. Big red, all San Antonio. Big red flow. see what we do with yes. that. And also, dogs, we're kicking those up. Mm -hmm. And, hey, want something fun to do with the kids? Yes, if you're looking for family fun, the museum is a traveling exhibit, and Jen dies right in recording and stuff we are sticking to the voyage to the deep theme here but we're getting oh crafty God. at the museum today here's everything that we're going to use to make a fun craft today i'm not going to tell you what it is you can guess i'll give you a hint it takes a lot of leg work and a lot of heart i promise it all makes sense that's coming up guys Oh, and we are bringing some new flavors to Happy Hour. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. It is the original Texas. Yes, we have a secret ingredient. Ooh. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. Okay. But, but we're going to be mixing some great summer cocktails with it. And it was the first it. of its kind ma uh, made in Texas, right? Yes, it was. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Starts with a G. <laughs> anyway, hey, did you know tomorrow is National Kitten Day? <laughs> <laughs> yes. To so all you cool cats and kittens, we want you to share those cool cats and kittens that you have at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. Believe it or not, I haven't been sitting on that as of yet. And a whole lot more in this. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV.
If you're a true crime lover, there's a case at 12 special. You won't want to miss this weekend. It's happening tomorrow at 6 p.m. You can watch open court the Otis McCain and Janine Jones cases. We take a look at the events that unfolded on the day SAPD detective Benjamin Marconi was killed and the manhunt for the accused gunman Otis McCain as he gets ready to go on trial. We're going to also tell you about the story of Janine Jones, the woman dubbed killer nurse. She suspected in dozens of babies murders during the 70s and 80s at hospitals. That's on Saturday right here on Case at 12 at 6 p.m. All right, one last look at the radar. We have some showers and downpours still around, some moving through San Antonio as we speak. Chances for passing showers and, and downpours continue through the evening. Flash flood watch is in place. A lot of this starts to move out tonight, though. We'll see some clearing conditions by tomorrow. I think 30% chance rain and then partly cloudy on Sunday highs in the low 90s, a little closer to where we typically would be here in July, guys. Thank you, Justin. And that's our show for now. Thanks so much for joining us. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. TGIF. Yes, we are just hours away from the weekend, peeps. So it's time to treat yourself with a delicious meal and maybe a tasty beverage. Hands up. Not yes. yet. This Not is like yet. The perfect I feel like I was just swatting one of the flies we have here on set. No. Funnel cake and churro? No. Yes. I'm Fiona. He's Mike. You know. <laughs> All right. Well, did you know also that tomorrow is National Kitten Day? Oh, yes, it must be the cutest day of the year. So we want all you cool cats and kittens. Oh, I haven't a bite. You're already eating? Okay, yes. <laughs> cool cats and kittens to share uh, those pictures on Facebook of your cool cats and kittens. Yes, okay, indeed. We want to see and the cuteness. Of course. Maybe it's a picture of, of the cat with the dog. Mm -hmm. My cat and dog, when we're not there, you know, they usually fight, but they sleep together and stuff like that. So, yeah, let us know about that coming up here, and I'm talking my mouthful right now. So, go. <laughs> all right, okay. Well, any time is a good time, you know, for burgers and hot dogs, but for the summer, maybe you want a little something extra. Well, our first guest definitely gives you that something extra. Oh, oh yes. New. <laughs> Love the smell of this. Freddie Morales, yes. owner of the shack, is here to show us some of their over-the-top burgers. First of yes. all, I mean, just the smell of this is, I, I, I guess love the smell. Yes. And nothing like a classic burger. It is so satisfying, but then you're just going... We're going over the top. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean? The extra toppings. Uh, right now we're doing our caliente burger. Okay. We'll do top off some hot Cheetos on our burger real quick. Okay, see, this is yeah. what's, what's left of the hot Cheetos, well, right? Yes, well, yeah, so, it's munching on it. Well, that's going, I'm going to put the, is it, what's first? So we're going to put the hot Cheetos right on top of the burger first. Right, okay. hot Cheetos first. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, get the cup. Yeah, dump it on, yeah, oh, there you go. you got there it. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah, don't be shy. I'm building it like a little mountain, a little yeah. hot Cheeto mountain we're going to climb. <laughs> so okay, this is my Where do you get your inspiration? for all One of for these the great flavors and what uh, for on. being here in San Antonio I mean I, I like to go out and eat and I mean who doesn't like hot cheetos and cheese you know I thought about what, why not on a burger and also our menus over the top it's all inspired by San Antonio eats yeah uh, you know corn in a cup funnel cakes everyone likes their uh, funnel cakes with ice cream churros with ice cream uh, we got big red floats there we go there you go perfect Look at that. Is that good? Is yes, that that's great. Cheese? Now let's okay. get the uh, jalapenos on there. Let's grab a little pinch. And we've got a little bit of mayo, mayo on the bun, on the bun too, yeah. right? Okay, there you okay. go. Some and of just, the boom. burgers, and I just want to read we this list. Around. We have hamburger, yeah. cheeseburger, bacon, cheeseburger. The regular. Okay. Then we have the um, well, the caliente that we're making right yes. now. And where was the one? Oh, the Gaines burger. The Gaines. <laughs> this one. Get this. It's a beef patty, mm -hmm. then a chicken breast, yep. then bacon, yep. then cheese. Yes. Oh. Yes. The Gainsbury. So that one came up with, uh, we're right next to a gym. So <laughs> we, yes, we need to get all that protein. We need to get all the guys with the protein. So why not put all the all the meats together on a, a bun? Go, go work out work. first, right? Yeah. Okay. Do me, you do want me, me to you want yeah, me yeah. to do this one? Here, yeah. I'm going to trade that. you. Okay. There we go. Trade that's that's that one, and I'm going to take your bun <laughs> yes. right here. Okay. Right and then I'm going to do some mayo. Some mayo. All right. So you have a lot of cold and sweet. Yes, we do. We got snow cones. We got fruit cups for for the heat this summer. What are some of the popular ones? Oh, our uh, shack fruit cup. Uh, we Which get has? you get like a, basically a snow cone at the bottom of it with fruit, chamoy, Lucas, lime on top with the chili stick. That's one oh. of our favorite. And our aguas frescas. 
Fiona. Those are refreshing. You're going to die. Is it so oh, good? No. Is there, there's no, do people typically Ooh. cut that when they eat it? No, that one's meant to be, that's meant to be messy. I'm going to Yeah, that's meant to be messy. Yeah, yeah, it's meant to be I'm messy, so okay. you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, oh, that's the best good. food, yeah. though, when it's crazy messy. When it's messy, yes, yes. You we know? do have our uh, burger uh, on there, too, as a crunch burger. You got the Fritos, uh, chili, cheese. That one's another messy burger that you're going to like. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. But yeah, most of our um, menu items and all that from San Antonio. I'm building another Cheeto this, mountain, y'all. In this <laughs> napkin dispenser here oh, yes. is a red velvet cake shake. Yes. No one told me to bring shakes. I would have brought that shake for you, Mike. But I brought that just kind of tease it. We do do, we got like eight different types of shakes. All of our shakes are made with like, a, see, an actual red velvet cake in the shake. Mm, exactly. Stop it! Yes, and like that. No. Oh, big, yep, yes. yep, all that stuff. <laughs> so yes, that, that comes right with it, so it's really good. Oh my God, and then you also said you've got, what's the burger called, four patties on oh, it? Oh, our big cheese, yes, it's four patties topped off with our American cheese, uh, Swiss <laughs> cheese, cheddar cheese, nacho cheese. On top of uh, our, our fries, and yeah, it's really it's really good. It's and each patty's a half pound. Half pound, yes, sir. So you're looking at about two pounds of, of meat right there. Do people actually eat that one person? You'll be surprised, yes. Really? In one sitting? Yes. yes. You're going to love this. Okay, how many, how many people take stuff home? Like, how many people don't make it through the burgers? <laughs> I would say about... 30 percent 50 percent yeah no okay. yeah yeah. i mean our burgers are pretty big yeah oh my Try god this yeah. Is, oh, it's hot. yeah just but it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Okay. here take, take a bite of mine half point. there you I'm go, go okay. on the other edge okay right. and I'll you go are gonna, gonna love side. this all right. hey and also besides burgers they have dogs too our hot dogs? we are going to be making up some of their gourmet hot dogs those yes. are over the top as well what do you think i would not think this through napkins no thank yes you. that's why i brought that because i knew you guys were need it yes Oh my gosh, that's insane no, good. good. Right? And yes. where are you located? We're located on uh, 410 151, mm. uh, no, no. Mil oh, South Coast Military Area. Did you walk? Did you? Did we show that off? Yes, we did. We did. Oh, okay. did you top it off with the sure. Oreo? Did you top it oh, off with the Oreo? Yeah. You were in charge of one thing. The, one thing. <laughs> one thing, Mike. <laughs> There we go. Uh, that, that works. Oh, we do have Oreo churros, which again, my fault. I didn't bring, but you would have loved it. Yes. Oh my right. God. Yes. Okay. More Where are you located and all that? Oh, 410, 151 area, right behind Cheddar's. More information okay. on the Shack at our website, SLI.com. Click on the Ask on SLI tab, tab. And mm -hmm. don't forget, hot dogs are coming up. Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, and it's a lot more than just chili and cheese because, you know, it's Freddy. So yes. get yeah. ready to take it <laughs> yes. over the top. Okay. If you are looking for family fun this weekend, the museum has a summer traveling exhibit inspired by that great story and movie, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. You I don't have any fine. cheese, right? Okay, no, okay. you don't. Okay. Um, it's called Voyage to the Deep, and our Jen Tobias Strusky is back out at the museum today, diving in. Ahoy, Jen! Last time we were here at the museum, we took you under the sea to the Voyage to the Deep exhibit. Now we are upstairs, and we get to have some DIY fun. Yeah. I have Kelsey Vaughn, the program specialist, and we're going to do some fun, uh, I guess you could say it's sea-inspired, right? Yeah, Crap. absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we're going to be making today a octopus. This is my friend Ocho, so we're going to make a couple of these today with our own supplies. Perfect. So let's get started. How, where yeah. do we begin? So we're going to start with a crew length sock. Mm -hmm. We have one right here. I picked out these cool socks from our museum store. <laughs> Super cute. And we're going to flip it inside out. Okay. Now we're going to put the sock on our arm and we're going to grab a ball of our fluff that we have here. Now does it matter how much? It doesn't matter how much, but the more you have, the bigger the head's going to be. Right. So. <laughs> well, he reads a lot of books, so okay, we'll make him. There we go. All right, and then we're just going to pull the sock right off and oh, reveal our little octopus head. Go. Take a uh, zip tie. I'm going to use this blue one here and mm -hmm. put it around the neck of the octopus mm -hmm. so that way the fluff stays in place. Mm -hmm. Struggling here, don't mind me. And you can hear it's quite busy here because it's a rainy day, guys. Yeah. And that's not stopping families from coming out here to have a good old time. There we go. All right. <laughs> then you're just going to cut off that excess with your grown-up scissors. Make sure you have someone with you to help you with those scissors if you need help with them. <laughs> Look at <'cause> <laughs> Like I said, lots of knowledge in this head here. Okay, so we'll add our... Oh, you're going to cut? Right? Yeah, so okay. we're going to go ahead and cut out all of our tentacles. Um, octopus have eight tentacles, uh, but you could definitely make your octopus with uh, more or less tentacles. It's up to you. 
Just be careful with the heel of your sock because there's a little bit of extra fabric there. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. This is something you could do at home. Yeah, with absolutely. The kids. And where can people find this? Because it is available to find the instructions, right? Yeah, we have a lesson plan online under our experiences tab. You'll find our page, uh, Do It at Home. And there you'll find all sorts of fun uh, DIY activities to keep yourself busy if you're not able to come to the museum to play. And you can, like I said earlier, there's so many things to do because you can see behind us, everybody is just having a good old time here today on this rainy day. And somehow his head is leaking. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just pretend I have eight here and then we can add, we can add some ice. Okay. I can get the eyes out, there we go. And we're using hot glue, so if you're gonna use hot glue at home, be sure you're very careful. You can also use regular glue to just glue those eyeballs on there. And the whole point to here at the museum is to have these fun hands-on activities, right? Yeah, absolutely. We have uh, multiple places in our museum as well as pop-up activities where you guys are able to um, make stuff with us. Which is the best part, because you know my kids. I told them I was coming to work to do this today. They wanted to tag. <laughs> oh my! They wanted goodness. to tag along. So this place is a happy place if, for children and adults. Yeah. And, and in the hot day, there's also a bunch of water activities, right? Yeah. Outside. We have um, two water features outside. So we have our waterworks, and then we also have Will Stream, uh, which is just a children's stream area. Two really fun water activities outside to do, and tons to do. Inside, let's talk a little bit about the exhibit because you said it's been quite a hit, the yes. Voyage to the Deep exhibit. Yeah, Voyage to the Deep has been very popular. It's our um, new exhibit, it's a traveling exhibit. It came to us all the way from Australia and it is based off of the book 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. So there's a submarine in there named the Nautilus, like the book, um, and there's so much to see and touch in there. Lots of things to pull open and look at, but yeah, it's. It's a great exhibit. I feel like every time I go in there, I always find something new. I love that. <laughs> lots of hidden things in there. Now, before we give you all the details, you have a fun little joke? Yes, I do. How do you make an octopus laugh? You give it 10 tickles. <laughs> give it 10 tickles. All right, great. The Voyage to the Deep is now through September 25th. You can head to thedizium.org for more information or give them a call, 210-212-4453. Again, that's now until September 25th, so come and have fun at the museum. What do y'all think? How do you look? Yeah, pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> Back to you guys. Bye. I think I'll name him Seaweed. Seaweed. <laughs> My kids are Seaweed. What do y'all think? Those are absolutely <laughs> adorable, Jen. Yes. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Jen. Okay, hey, still ahead on SA Live, Free prizes and a chance at free furniture. A local store is celebrating a huge anniversary, and that means you could win big. But first, if your kids are all about shooting some hoops, we've got a local trainer that's got a tournament your kids will love. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if your kids are all about shooting hoops, there's an upcoming tournament that your kids are going to love. And our dear friend Jermaine Collier from JC Ultimate Training and his beautiful daughter, Sori, are joining us now to fill you in and sharpen your skills, your basketball skills, your workout skills, and big, big news as well, right? Absolutely. We got some big news coming for the city of San Antonio. I uh, came here to talk about my program, Ultimate Athletes Academy. I made it a nonprofit. It took a lot of paperwork, but I got it done. So what it is, a strength and conditioning program for all athletes. Uh, we have a basketball program. That's a two-hour program, Monday through Friday. We run it every day. All right, the reason why I want to do it two hours, we do conditioning for the first hour. Then also we're working on ball handling and shooting in the second hour. Back to the academy real quickly. Why did you decide yeah. to do this? Personally, my, my experience growing up, I come from a single-parent household. And, when it comes to training, my mother wasn't having that at all. It's a premium when it comes to training, so I want to do something for the kids that's affordable and also have my way of giving back to the community. Okay. That's fantastic. Now, Zora here is going to show off some of the, some drills, right? Absolutely. Okay. And tell us what these drills are and how they help improve basketball skills. Uh, this is a two-ball drill, so basically when you're dribbling basketball, it's all hand-eye coordination. You want to keep the ball in your fingertips and your finger pads. 
You want to train your brain to do the same thing over and over. And as a ball handler in basketball, you don't want to look down. When you look down, you're not looking for anybody to pass the ball to. So keep those eyes up. We practice dribbling two balls at a time. That's okay. just amazing to me. Right? Like, look, look at up. Zori go, okay? She's going to keep going and then do some other things here while we talk. But your sports performance programs are for athletes, by athletes, and focus on kids as young as eight, right? Yes, ma'am. Eight years old. We want to get them off the couch, get them off the video games. It's a huge problem with type 2 diabetes and child ob obesity now. So my way of getting them into sports by doing the training aspect of it. Now, what about the kids that aren't the natural athletes that, you know, and kind of always picked last on the team. Uh, how do you get them out there? Are you talking about yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell them you gotta start from somewhere. The thing about being great, it takes 10,000 hours to be an expert. I let them know it's okay to fail because in reality, you fail before you succeed. It's always a journey, not a destination. All right, and so what sets your sports conditioning program apart? Because you've invested in some, some great machines, right, to help kids train? Absolutely. What sets my program apart is we're in the Roanoke Mall. You probably never heard of a performance training facility inside of a mall. No. So there we have the top level uh, equipment there. We have shooting machines. We have Vertimaxes. We have a sand pit I dug out outside. We even have a basketball court inside the mall. Okay. That's fantastic. All, All right. right. So are we going to try bigger? something? Real quick? Absolutely. Okay. Two, gosh. Okay. Two balls. Two balls. You want to go ahead and take it over? All right. Oh, Yay! All right. Yay! Okay, you get to do this. Okay. You gotta keep the ball in your fingertips and your finger pads and don't look down. I'm right. not, but I'm looking at the screen to see if my... Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Keep it going. Don't look down. Okay. Now you want to go back and forth with both hands. Just give it a shot. I can tell you're right-handed because the left hand needs some work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So does the right hand. All right. So while he's trying do? that, your program, your moderate is okay. We don't use machines. We make machines, and you offer year-round programs in private, small group, and team settings, right? Absolutely. Right there at the Rolling Oaks Mall. It's called JC Ultimate Training. Our new program is Ultimate Athletes Academy. So look us up there. And athletics and training helps out in in doing math and other work and in, in, in life, right? I look at this whole training concept, all I'm doing is teaching work ethics. That carries over in the classroom, that carries over in work, and also when they get to be an adult, you gotta have work ethic to be successful in real life. Jay-Z, thank you see? so very That's much. That's how it's done over there. I you know. You see that? Yes. <laughs> all right, for more information on JC Ultimate Training, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live app. You did way better than I would do, so. <laughs> But not as good as Zoe. And thank you very much, Zoe. <laughs> and Jermaine. Uh, thank you. All right. A new fish restaurant that David Elder is going to be trying out. And it looks delicious. And next, a local store's anniversary means free gifts for you. You can win free furniture and what prizes they're offering at a big event tomorrow. You don't want to miss this. Plus, hey, you want to protect your health and win free Spurs tickets? Metro Health is offering free vaccinations tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the AT&T Center. Everyone vaccinated will be entered for a chance to win a 10-game Spurs ticket package. Plus, they'll receive one free ticket to a San Antonio FC soccer game. Don't throw away your shot. Bob Mills Furniture is celebrating a major milestone. It just turned 50, but instead of getting birthday gifts, the store is giving its customers big prizes. And who better to tell us about it than the man who started it all, Bob Mills, president of Bob Mills Furniture. Fiona, how are you this morning? Such so a pleasure. So glad to have you out. Such a pleasure to be here and such a pleasure to meet you. Well, good. Tell us all about how this started. Take us back to the beginning because Bob Mills Furniture opened up in July of 1971. Or you were just Se you were just a wee tot. 23 years old. <laughs> I was 23 years old. Okay. Right. How did you get your start? Well, I couldn't find a job when I got out of college. So I had to take a job or I got to take a job as a clerk typist at an insurance company sitting with four young ladies typing late payment notices. And every week, a guy would come by my desk telling me about the wonderful adventures in the furniture business. And we talked for maybe two years. And finally, one day, I said, how do you get in the furniture business? And he said, boy, we can work this out. So we became partners. And uh, we started in 71. And I will tell you, we lasted, our partnership lasted for one year. And I didn't know any more about furniture than a sofa from a pickup truck. 
And he walked in one day and said, uh, here's my keys and here's my half of the company and I'm out of here. Wow. It was a shock. <laughs> so I had to decide, do I stay right. or do I go with him? And I decided to uh, stay and it's been 50 wonderful years. Wow. Not all of them great, right. but it's been, it's been an adventure. <laughs> An adventure and a journey, and you have a bachelor's degree in music and business. How does music play a role? Well, I tell you what, the music, we came up with the idea, wouldn't it be great to promote the store to have a country and western show? So the guys that played in the band worked at the store, and we televised this, this show uh, every Saturday, 30-minute show, had some country stars passing through that would be on the show, and it was magic. We just had the greatest time. Customers would come in and they'd say, I saw him playing guitar and I saw him as the drummer and I want to talk to them, and it was fun. And that's just, it's part of the atmosphere, part right? Of the atmosphere, <laughs> part of the atmosphere, and you're unique. You're not like anybody else, I can assure you. So tell us about the 50th golden anniversary event. We're gonna take and do something where we really give back because these are the people that have supported us for 50 years and given us their business and their friendship. And we're gonna take once a week for 50 days and no matter what you buy, don't care how expensive it is and give their total purchase to them free. It's gonna be a lot of free recliners. And on July the 10th, we're gonna have food trucks. I don't wanna spoil it for okay. everyone, okay. but I promise you're gonna have a good time. Very exciting event, so you want to come out to the Bob Mills Furniture 50th Golden Anniversary Celebration tomorrow, July 10th at the store on I-10 near De Zavala. The Golden Anniversary will run for 50 days, and once a week, one person will win their entire purchase free. They're also going to be giving away a new recliner at the celebration tomorrow. For more information on Bob Mills Furniture, just call 210 580-8200, that's 210-580-8200, or visit bobmillsfurniture.com. Happy anniversary. Thank you, I couldn't have said it better myself. Still ahead on the show, unwind for the weekend. We're whipping up summer cocktails with a special ingredient bringing a different flavor to your favorite drink. And next, a local restaurant is back making next level hot dogs and giving you ideas for your next cookout. Plus, you can win free tickets to Celebrity Fan Fest and Six Flags. Just go to ksat.com slash insider for details and your chance to win a family four pack. The contest ends June, July 22nd. Don't go anywhere, you're watching SA Live. Oh, look at that yum yum. <laughs> Welcome That's back the to the show. This is what we do, y'all. This is what we do. Now, earlier, we made the Caliente Burger from the Shack Restaurant. That's what you're looking at right there. A spicy burger with a San Antonio flair. And by San Antonio flair, I mean hot Cheetos and jalapenos are in there, right? And the cheese and cheese. sauce. And, the and, cheese. Cheese. and cheese. Yeah, yeah. And, and, cheese, and, cheese. and mm -hmm. the other one was really good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's Brendan Morales, the owner of the shack, is back. And now we are doing some over-the-top hot dogs. Yes, we oh, are. Oh, goodness gracious. And these are... So, Big dogs. Yes, they're quarter pound dogs, uh, the, the Nathans, so all beef. We don't do any of the uh, mixture stuff. Oh, they yeah. are? Yeah. Yes, all beef, I Nathan hot dogs. Nathan yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right there, you want to add some seasoning onto those onions. Okay. Throw the onions in there. We're going to do the shack riso dog, which is our shack riso or um, chorizo, oh. onions, jalapenos, all grilled up together on top of our dog. And we yeah. top it off with the avocado. Yeah, yeah. Drump it right on top of the onion. Right on top. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you want to okay, do a scoop? I think that would be too much chorizo oh, right there. But yeah, do a scoop. There we go. I need you to wedge it. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. There yeah. you go. Drop it in there. Yeah. Smash it all up okay. in there. Okay. And you you could throw some jalapenos in there too. You gotta get it. Oh, you got everything yeah. on your side. Sorry. That's all. No, you're good. <laughs> well, you got the enchilada dog, so okay. we're gonna make some okay. room and we're gonna throw some tortillas on there for you. Okay. All right. It's our enchilada dog. Actually, has an enchilada on top of our hot dog. We have so a house these? sauce that we, yes. Okay. Smell. Put these on here, Arden. Oh, this. Yep. So Arden. you sell more what, burgers or dogs? It's it's equally actually, really? yes. Believe it or not, um, most of our hot dogs are, they have their uh, hamburger counterpart. Yeah. So like if we have the caliente burger, we have the caliente dog. You oh. know what I mean? We have the shag rizzo burger, we have the shag rizzo dog. Okay. Yeah. So with that, you got you want to put some cheese onto the enchilada sauce, or then the, the tortilla right there. All right, throw some Is that sauce. enough or more? Oh, let me see, let me see. Let me see. Let me Wait, right. tell, make sure. There we go, yep, there we go, right there, that's good. Okay. And then you're gonna do 
throw some uh, sauce on sauce. there. Yeah. Okay. And, and you get a lot of sauce. Mm -hmm. You come up with these flavors just because this is what everybody loves. Everybody, yeah. Town, I mean, right? the Tex Mix, you, enchiladas, cheese enchiladas. Yeah. Our, our red sauce that we use on them is pretty good. So it's uh, almost like, go. you know, thinking about this, it's almost like uh, sausage wrapped in a tortilla mm -hmm. that you can get put well, in. The tortillas yeah. on the outside, but yeah, and then you melt the cheese on there and everything. It's really good. Okay. Should right, we yeah, want to get the tortilla? Yeah, yeah flip it. Flip, flip, oh, flip it. it over. Okay. There we go. Flip okay. We're good, man. You're talented with those. Ah. All right. Ooh. Yes. And Fiona, if you want to grab okay. the tortilla, put it over here. We're going to roll it up you real got quick. got it. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, oh, you yeah, have, yeah, wait, you got your Is your name Fiona? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know you had a special. There we go. I'm just kidding. I don't okay. know how it's, it's hot, so will you be okay. able to roll it or do you want me to roll gonna, it for you? We're going to find out. Okay. All right, go. You got to so roll just it up. Just, yep. Roll it up onto itself? Mm hmm. You just go, ooh. Ooh, like that a, is like hot. Like a taco. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want me to. Do? There we go. Like that? Yes. There you that's go. great. Ooh. Yes. So you're going to take this and you're going to put it on top of the dog. Put it on top? Yes. Okay, so oh. just. Right, right up there. I was wondering how this is going to work. Yes. You want to. Right here, you're gonna want to put some enchilada sauce on uh -huh. the side, on the, and we're uh -huh. gonna top and it off with some more. And we forgot to toast our buns oh, on here too. Oh, we forgot to toast the yeah. buns. Yeah. Oh, the buns, right? Hey. A couple of amateurs here. Okay. Oh, look at that! The enchilada yeah. sauce in there too. Oh, so you're toast. Oh, okay, we, we, got we got thirty seconds. We got thirty seconds. seconds. Okay. We'll pretend uh -huh. this bun is toasted, and we're gonna get this. Okay, we gotta step on the gas. Here All we right, go. All right, there we go. All right. right. Okay. Okay. So this goes. That, that goes in. In oh, the, yeah. first you gotta melt the cheese. You gotta melt the cheese real quick. Oh, wait. Melt the cheese yeah, real quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got more cheese. More cheese. More wait, wait yeah. for it to wait, melt. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's okay. You're located 151 and 151 410. Yes, yes. Oh. I need to get one of those little doohickeys to melt. To cheese melt them? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's pretend that's <laughs> melted and look at that baby on oh the Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay, yes. that looks really hot. I don't know if you I know. can take it, a bite right now. Yes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna dig in okay. there. Okay, so yeah, you've, got, you've got sweet treats at the shit. Yes, at the, at the, at the shack, shack, right? Yes, okay. we got snow cones, mm -hmm. funnel cakes, churros, a red velvet shake. Red velvet shake that huh. Mike really wants to try. I'm yes. gonna have to bring one down sometime. Oh my um, god, yeah, that's kind of cool. All yeah, right, we are out of time, but okay. you rock, Brandy. Right. Okay. <laughs> For more information on the chat, go to our website, salive.com. And click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Um, is it cooling down? I mean, are you okay? Don't burn your taste buds. I we need those on this show. That's good. <laughs> That's good stuff. All right, next on the show, we're bringing new flavors to happy hour. Why these aren't your typical summer cocktails. Find out the secret ingredient, which, okay, it's not so secret. Mike, you showed it again. It was handed okay. to me. It is the original <laughs> Texas gin. Yep. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you know, gin cocktails are making a comeback, and so we are celebrating the revival with the original gin made in Texas, the first ever. Yes, Mindy Kuchin, Waterloo Gin Beverage Director, is here to help make some fun summer cocktails with good old Texas made gin. And yes! This is not <laughs> your ordinary gin, because, like I've said before, I'm not a huge gin fan, but. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't smell like a regular gin. Super piney, yeah. yeah. Uh, so most gins have a lot of uh, juniper berry and uh, they tend to be very pine needle. Uh, but this one, oh, we soften it. Mm -hmm. This one is softened with the beautiful botanicals that we get from the Texas Hill Country. Uh, we also distill Ooh. it, we vapor yeah. distill it. Uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna wear it as a, <laughs> as a <laughs> cologne? <laughs> <laughs> That's what okay. I do. <laughs> I mean, what no, but that is a alone. really, really smooth flavor if you were to it just is. drink yeah. it with rocks or something it's like that. Lovely. So, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. right, what okay. cocktail am I gonna make, first of all? Uh, so you're gonna make a Waterloo Ricky. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got fresh uh, watermelon juice that you can find at any local grocery store. So that's two and a half ounces of watermelon juice. Uh, then we're gonna tarten it up a little bit with the tart lime juice. I've got a three quarter ounce pour of that. And then last, we're gonna sweeten it uh, with our uh, simple syrup. Okay. And then the important part, Waterloo. Uh, we're she gonna do- She handed me the- <laughs> She doesn't trust me to pour. So. I don't trust him at all. <laughs> she's, she's watched this show then. Yeah, uh, up to the, the two? So we're doing two ounces. Mm -hmm. okay. You're gonna go straight up to that. I'm gonna <laughs> you do you. <laughs> yeah, so we'll cap that tin, make a nice seal. There you go. Shaky, shaky, shaky. <laughs> and that's perfect. Okay. There you go. I have trouble with that too, with that part. And this pour <laughs> is called, I've never heard this before. Yeah, we're going to do a dirty dump. So that's where you just shake everything and dump it all into your glass. And then we're just going to uh, go ahead and garnish it with some mint and a little lime. 
we are all set to go. And if this doesn't look like summer, I don't know what does. Okay, all right, now I am making what? Uh, so we're gonna do a brunch Ooh, spritz here. That's real refreshing. Oh yeah, I'm glad you like Very it. Very good. So we're pouring, it. look, glug, glug, glug. Uh, we've got eight ounces of gin here for Waterloo spritz. Wow, this isn't mm -hmm. for just me? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean. That's a, cup, that's a cup of gin. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a cup of gin. Uh, we're using this to uh, build a shareable cocktail. Okay. Yes, so we're gonna pour that into Thank our pitcher. Uh, then we're going to do, uh, we've got everything pre-measured, uh, so we've got our sweet here, it's uh, going to be a blanc vermouth, uh, we've got four ounces of that, mm -hmm. and then next you're going to top it off with our soda. Okay. And the, the base of this, like we were talking before, with the, you think of it, the gin and the vermouth, mm -hmm. it sounds like a sounds martini Sounds like still. a martini spritz. Okay. It is not a martini, you can slowly pour that in because that's our Prosecco and it's very bubbly. So that's mm -hmm. the Yeah, so just, there you go, take your time with it. Uh, so yeah, a typical martini is with uh, gin, vermouth, and two dashes of bitters, orange bitters typically. This one does not have orange bitters in it, so it's not technically a martini spritz, but you can call it what you want. Okay. And this <laughs> so, is uh, distilled up in Dripping Springs, and you can go up there and visit, right? Yes, Mike, yes. Uh, so you can definitely come see us at Treaty Oak Distillery at the Treaty Oak Ranch. Uh, we are on the corner of Ranch Road 12, and... Um, you. <laughs> Straight up 281, hang a right at Johnson City, and you're right there, and you got a, a restaurant as well. I think so. Well, too, yes, right? we have a full service restaurant. Okay, mm -hmm. and you can find it at all the local uh, stores where you can buy spirits, yes, right? Yes, uh, Twin Liquors, Specs, and uh, Total Wine. All right, well, thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers. 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 Uh, and if you'd like more information on Waterloo Gin, of course, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, next on the show, well, things are getting fishy on Texas Eats. David Elder swims into a seafood restaurant with recipes from Mexico. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> things are getting fishy on Texas Seeds, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> David Elder swims into a seafood restaurant with some delicious recipes from Mexico. Now we're here in San Antonio, Texas, right by the Pearl off the Broadway corridor to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up seafood recipes from Mexico. Let's go inside, it's in your fish. Joining me now is the executive chef out here at the restaurant, Gerardo Ramirez, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. And in front of us, you have prepared quite the ensemble of the seed. I mean, we got a little bit of creatures from all over the place. Yeah. And the drinks as well from behind the bar. How yeah. long have you been cooking? I've been cooking since I'm 18. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And uh, was this originally the style that you learned how to cook in? Not really. Uh, this is my first like seafood restaurant. Did you learn how to cook at school? Did you learn how to cook at home? Like, where did that come from? I wanted to study in England uh, in the Cordon Bleu. Oh, uh, wow. But it was like on pale for me <laughs> when I was 18. So I, I, I went there uh, just to learn English and I started to work uh, as a dishwasher in a restaurant, in a very good restaurant over there. And the chef no, knew that I wanted to study that. So he like started to teach me a little bit. Yeah. When I uh, get back home in Mexico, I, I entered to the university and I studied gastronomy. And wow. Yeah, for four years. Dude, what a cool story, man. <laughs> so you went from like passionate about food, yeah. learning how to do it, by starting out as a dishwasher, yeah. and then now look at you're the executive <laughs> chef of a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So what is this dish? It's, that's a, a aguachile rojo. And Red what, aguachile. And what is inside of it? Inside of it is the, the shrimp. It's like half cooked shrimp with lime juice. Uh, it has some uh, oh. a shot of paste, have some adobo in it. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. Here we go. That is so bright and refreshing, and it's just, it's very simple, but like the flavor on it is fantastic. I like that little bit of spice on there. And then the red onions, they're shaved so thin, yeah. they just kind of melt in your mouth, but they give you a good flavor as well. Hey, don't forget a full hour of Texas Eats tomorrow, 10 a.m., right here on KSAT 12. And Monday on SA Live, not your average cinnamon rolls, See why they're part of a huge new trend and how we're taking them to the next level.
Right now, though, KSAT local expert John Wayne Service Company shows us how you can benefit from a high-efficiency flex AC system. Hi, I'm Chris with John Wayne Service Company, and today we're installing a John Wayne high-efficiency flex AC system. Let's go check it out. Heading the install today is going to be one of our lead installers, Daniel. And one of the first things we're going to do is remove the old AC system. That includes the system on the outside and the system in the attic, which is a horizontal air handler. There were many reasons why our homeowners, Justin and Sol, wanted to move forward with a new AC system. We're super excited for the new system as it's our daughter's first year of life and being that it's more efficient and higher quality, the filtration and the air in the home is going to be better for her and her lungs and ultimately we're super excited for the outdoor unit to be very quiet as our old system was right outside and it was super loud. We're going to get a great night's sleep and so is she. We're replacing the disconnect which comes standard with every John Wayne install. As an extra precaution we always make sure we put a surge protector on the equipment. So as you can see here we have an existing slab that the old system was sitting on. But with the new John Wayne Flex AC system, we're able to mount this system on the house with some brackets to give it more stability. So as you can see here with the finished product, this takes up a lot less space than the original system did. In addition to replacing the entire system, the customers are gonna get a five stage indoor air quality system, which consists of an easy change air cleaner, 24 seven UV, EnviroPure whole house purification system, and an ionizing scrubbing system. So their baby can breathe fresh air. Well, we're all done for the day. The guys are wrapping it up. But if you think you could benefit from a John Wayne Flex system, give us a call or look us up on the web at johnwayne.com. There are oh some of those cute chat gracious. pictures for National Kitten Day, which is tomorrow. Thanks for sending them in. Little Oliver, how adorable. Stay dry, drive carefully, and have a wonderful weekend, everybody.